So, I did say that I would do a video on the Last Crusade. And now, I'm doing it. I'm sorry if you're hearing purring noises in here. It's because I've got a cat. Not the same cat that um, I showed you on in on my video previously. Sorry, I'm not a very good speaker. But this one is a different cat. This one is a kitten. And his name, I think he's a male cat. Um, his name is Sushi. Um, we got him, um, I think it was... I can't remember when we got him. I think it was... I don't think it was April 1st. I think it was somewhere around April 2nd, April 3rd. Can't remember the exact date, but... Um, yeah, we did get him. Um, and... He's a savage. So, The Last Crusade is a terrible... Scootaloo episode and I'm going to explain why. Now the reason why The Last Crusade is a terrible episode is because of the plot. So I'm going to spoil the entire plot for you guys. So the plot starts with a young cult running around Ponyville screaming that he's got his cutie mark. Yep, he's a basically a headless chicken at this point. Now, the reason why this young cult is running around Ponyville screaming that he's got his cutie mark is because he's trying to find the cutie mark crusaders. And then Scootaloo from the window says that the cutie mark crusaders are at her house and then the young cult then goes into Scootaloo's house and starts explaining how he got the cutie mark, blah, 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 this and that, whatever, not important. So anyway, a letter shows up and we find out that Scootaloo has parents, even though never mentioning them in the previous seasons. Meanwhile, at the school, A crocodile goes into the school and Chi Li, who is the teacher pony, is absolutely scared of it, right? Luckily, it didn't hurt any students. Because we all know how that would end up. Scootaloo's dad manages to restrain the crocodile and calm it down. And then that's where we get introduced to him for the first time. So the Cuny Mark Crusaders and Scootaloo's parents are at some sort of restaurant. And I'm guessing it is Sugar Cube Corner, but I'm not actually sure. Or maybe it's near Sugar Cube Corner. So yeah, they're at the calf, sugar cube corner, whatever the place is called. And then Scootaloo's dad says that Scootaloo needs to pack her things. And her mother says that they're moving to a place in Equestria called Shower Lanka. Shower Lanka, am I saying it correctly? So, the Q Mark Crusaders go to the clubhouse and then they start crying. Which I do not blame them for. And then Rainbow Dash shows up and then, of course, the Q Mark Crusaders start crying again. And then we switch over to Ponyville and there's like a banner of the CMC with party stuff everywhere. I wonder who organised that. Pinkie Pie. So the issue or problem with The Last Crusade is Scootaloo having a biological family. Because in the previous seasons, they have never once been mentioned by name or title. In fact, they've never even shown up 
in the previous seasons of MLP. This is the reason why I don't take season 9 seriously. Because none of it makes any sense. Any sense. Like, in season 4, Discord betrays Equestria, and then in season 9, he does it again, but this time to boost Twilight's confidence. No sense whatsoever. And this is the reason why I said in my last video, season 9 does not feel canon to the previous seasons of MLP. The Last Crusade ignores the previous Scootaloo episodes from previous seasons. Do you guys remember Sleepless in Ponyville? And that's the episode where... Scootaloo and Rainbow Dash become sisters. And the Last Crusade completely forgot it existed. So in My Little Pony, Friendship and Magic, we went from season one, season two, season three, season four, season five, season six, Season 7, Season 8, and now we're all the way to Season 9. And Season 9 is a disappointment compared to previous seasons. All of the previous seasons from the past are masterpieces. But Season 9 reuses one of Discord's plots from another season from the past and then the Skulu episode from season 9 then forgets the sister bond between Skulu and Rainbow Dash from season three. This is why it makes no sense. But anyway, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed and hey, leave your comments down below or just like the video. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.